Welcome to Dyson Share Program. My name is Nilaus, and this is a guide, a tutorial, including blueprints on how to get the absolute perfect, brilliant start to the game. So the best way to show it is to show it from the perspective of a brand new game instead of showing it from the perspective of uh, of just a end game scenario. So just to show you how easy it is. We're going to start by getting some of the materials needed, and uh, that will just be the very first thing I'm going to do. So let's uh, jump forward so I can start working, showing the, the cool stuff that I have in store for us. So a little time has passed and I've just set up the very, very basic things that we need for our future build. I've set up a bit of stone mining, a bit of copper mining, a bit of iron mining and a bit more iron mining. So here we are tapping a total of 12 veins. Veins. This is a total of 12 veins. So we get full belts in here of 6 per second, 6 per second, 6 per second. And this one only needs 3 per second, but nevertheless, I get 3 per second. Uh, I get 6 per second. What I need to do then, we have a few researchers here and there. But over on the upgrade side, we have this one, mass construction. I will activate it. I'll use my inventory items and then we'll complete this research because that is where, sorry to use an, an, a title phrase, the magic happens. Here we go. Mass construction level one. Do we have this? The re constraint of this one is the fact that it can only accept 60 facilities. So that's something we need to be careful of. And this is why I've spent the time for us, for you, for me, for us to build a really cool design here with these hubs. And I will show you how it works. First, we are simply going to take number one. And I have, of course, placed them in just a random pattern that just so happens to work. Watch this and be impressed, I hope. So first we build the stone smelting, then we go in again, take the next one, this is going to be iron smelting, build that here, and the third one, we'll also just stamp that down, you can see it goes over here. Now this is the first things we built, we built some stone smelting over here, we built some iron smelting, six of those consuming a full belt, this three of those I don't need anymore, so I've only to take that, you could mad more if you like. Over on this side, we are building the green circuits. They will need copper inbound. But if I just stamp down the copper here as well, it would be too big of a blueprint. So what I have to do is I have to wait for this one to complete, especially just these tiles here. There we go. Now they are completed. And that means I can, from this location, I can then set number four in here. They are named correctly. You can see here that they have uh, Sorters coming out and those sorters need to be going on top of an existing belt. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. And so that builds the six copper that we need. And from here, you can see it's already starting to work. The one thing that isn't working is that one because we haven't gotten it inbound. I want to get, get all of those inbound here as well. Start with the corner over here before going over to the copper as well. These very, very slow bots are just always going to be a problem. But, you know, it is what it is. And the last bit of our micro starter build hub here, early game, and that is this one, which will fit exactly on here. This is feels weird, but it uh, actually works really well. This is one of the few places that I'm gonna use elevated belts. It's so tightly packed together, and it just so happens that it works flawlessly here. That will go in here, so we built the green circuits, we built the magnetic coils, they will go here, the green circuits go down there, and that will lead into the next little build that we will do. Next little build comes out here, you can see they are number six and seven, and then we'll take a bit of break after the six and seven. Here comes the six that goes into some storage boxes so that we don't sort of have things idling, we need them to continue and put them into a box so that we can just grab whatever we need as we go along. And the last part of my initial build, and that is this one, where we get all the other items in. So at this point, what we have, once the robots are done building, I will have stone put into a box, I'll have iron in a box, I will have green circuits in a box, I'll have cop magnetic coins in a box, and I will have copper in a box. You can see all the other ones, except for the copper, will move on down here, and that will be the transition into the next build that we want to do. But let's wrap this one up here. There is one more thing I want to let you know. There are some things about the ratios here i'm trying to build it at ratio but for example this one is working at speed one per second which is enough to feed this one but the inserter going from there to there can only have 0.75 so this one will slowly accrue as you can see here that's just the way it is but you can upgrade it to the second tier if you, when you get that but this is a good place for us to take a short break because night has fallen and I am going to do it. So what I would recommend that you do at this point is that you start 
gathering since you have these automated you simply pick up 300 of those 300 of those and handcraft your way to victory so that you can get this one mass construction 2 because that's the that's the one we need for the next one you can do other stuff in the meantime or you can start building the next part but i am going to uh, continue this assuming that we have the next tier the next tier of mass construction gives us unlocks blueprints of 150 uh, 150 entities that is totally worth for me to do this uh, immediately you can also do it before but i want to do it here and then we'll wait until morning and i think that will fit perfectly and here we are i have now done the research the manual research up to this one unlocking it so we have blueprints with 150 facilities and the reason why we want that is because the next part of our hub is actually more suited to be done with 150 entities this is what we have here and uh, i will just explain what it is i'm building now because i'm going to build a long row out here and that row will consist of a little mini bus and then some builds in between stone iron green circuits cop uh, magnetic coils and uh gears yeah nothing requires copper for some reason so no reason to build that and then we can build the next build as well let us take a look at that and that's where it really gets into the actual builds and of course because we have these slow robots they're going to take forever to build but there is a quick fix to that right this is now built and uh, you can see we are building built sorters assemblers and smelters the most important things i have highlighted how many i want of each you can of course change it if uh, according to your demands uh, one of the other things we are going to stamp down the next one just so we keep moving forward that will be here one of the key points is that i have left more space between this than is technically necessary and that is on purpose because later on when we build uh, when we convert this and want these to be go into interstellar logistics stations if we don't build this then we can actually take five things into an interstellar logistics here and then we'll take the next five into the next one but if i build them too close then the space between here will not be sufficient to to sort it so that again that's not a beneficial thing and again, we see that night has fallen, so we'll just uh, continue when day breaks. As dawn approaches, we are going to continue with the next part of our design. And that will actually be the last bit that is here. Let's stamp it down and then take a look at what it is. One of the things that you might have wondered why I don't build it earlier in the sequence. And that is here, the final one here, the power tesla towers and the reason why the tesla towers are at the end is because this will actually be expanded so build it exactly like this don't start being any fancy things with also getting glass in here or stuff like that don't worry or steel it'll get there and it'll get there in the right time but that will be another video with new blueprints that are super crisp for that but what we're building here at the end i am building a science facility because why not i have the two things here they will just take care of all of our blue science from here i think that one thing you might want to do is get that one so I just get two of those so it's working a bit quicker on that uh, transfer and of course this uh, the fact that science is here at the end means that I'm I'm only using sort of excess after we filled up all of the buffers and using the excess for science. And that means you can then start using whatever else you want for science. But as you can see, stamping down the first things, those will basically be the first things I would do uh, in starting a new game. You just start it up, get the first blueprint, stamp down those seven blueprints, and then you know that you will have the things you need for further production already in boxes. And then you can start handcrafting your way to victory and to build all of that as you progress to the next tier get the next blueprint get all those things because some of these also need to be unlocked with research and some of the research such as the splitters actually require blue signs uh, in advance so you will probably need to handcraft some of it but build this and once you've done this you really can focus on getting more power either with so with this with wind energy or with uh, the thermal ones you can build lots and lots of belts well lots and lots but it will uh, accrue belts over time that's the beauty of it it will just continue to work and you have this so i hope you uh, you are finding this useful if you are of course i am providing all these blueprints they are linked in the description below so you can uh, just go grab that blueprint as long as 
like any other blueprints that I have available. And of course, if you want save games, they're also available to the patron supporters. And let me just thank the patron supporters who are supporting the channel. That is really the backbone of the channel. So thank you very much, all the lovely patrons who are supporting. Thank you very much, patrons, and thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. And if you want more Dyson Sphere program content, such as Let's Plays or guides or tutorials or awesome crisp blueprints, then uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, take care and stay effective.